Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Adam Burke from BangTheBook.com. We're going to come to you here on Thursdays with our Thursday three-pack video, my three favorite plays of the night. Did this on Tuesday. Didn't get off to the greatest of starts with an 0-3 start. But once again, like I said on yesterday's video, only one way to go, and that's up, and we're going to look to do it here with our Thursday three-pack. Before I get into that, over at BangTheBook.com, we've got updated NFL power rings from Danny Borgs. Over 60% here on the season, over 58% lifetime at bangthebook.com for those NFL power ratings. You definitely want to make sure that you're checking those out. Danny Vorgs does a phenomenal job putting those together right there on the homepage over at bangthebook.com. If you missed today's edition of Bang the Book Radio with professional handicappers Brad Powers and Tony George, go back and listen to that. And of course, if you're right here on our YouTube page, we go straight from Spreaker to YouTube, so you can just listen to those two segments right here after you listen to me do this Thursday three-pack, or maybe you want to pause this and go ahead and listen to those segments. Can't blame you for that, but all of our segments on Bang the Book Radio, available on iTunes, Spotify, Spreaker, Stitcher, and we've been adding them to YouTube now as well. So no reason not to hear every guest that we have on Bang the Book Radio. Also over at bangthebook.com, all of the FBS bowl games have been previewed. You can go and check those out. My updated college football power ratings posted over there as well. NHL from Parker Michaels has been on fire this season. Go and check that out on a daily basis. And in fact, if you subscribe to notifications over at bangthebook.com, you'll know right away in the morning or in the afternoon, depending on how quickly information gets out, when Parker has updated that NHL article. So you'll never miss a day if you subscribe to notifications over at bangthebook.com. Yesterday in our video, I took a look at the weekend with some notes on college football and NFL line moves. Again, once again, if you missed that, very easy to find that right here on our YouTube page. Some of those lines have moved around a little bit, uh, but the information I talked about yesterday, still very much relevant as we look ahead to the weekend. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this Thursday three-pack video. Once again, Hoping for better fortunes would be hard to do much worse. I had a tough beat there on the uh, Portland Trail Blazers on Tuesday night. They failed to cover by a half point in that game against the Rockets. Uh, nowhere close with the Loyola Maryland and Maryland total. Although, to be fair, both of those teams shooting well over 50% from three-point range. Didn't expect that. Game picked up the tempo in the second half. Sometimes those things are going to happen. So, very important for you to adhere to proper bankroll management all the time. And, uh, you know, be able to lessen the blow on some of those tough nights. So, like I said, definitely looking to uh, bounce back here today with the Thursday three-pack. We'll go ahead and start with the biggest game of the night here. That is the NFL game. This one between the Chargers and the Chiefs. Total on this game of 54 and a half. We're going to be looking at the under 54 and a half for this game. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. It is very hard to take an under in a Kansas City Chiefs game. I certainly agree with that. The offense, very potent. The defense does have some holes here and there, so you certainly want to be mindful of that. But you look at this game here tonight. Only five of the Thursday night games since the start of the 2011 season have had a total of 54 or higher. All five of those games have gone under the total. And obviously the Thursday night game, a difficult travel spot, a difficult situational spot for the teams that are involved. Not a big surprise that with higher totals, we are seeing those games go under. Also here, the Chargers 31st in the NFL in tempo. They're not going to speed up. It is certainly not in their best interest to move any quicker than usual here tonight against this potent Chiefs offense. So I would expect the Chargers to do what they do, ball control, run the football. Should see a lot of Justin Jackson tonight. And also for the uh, Chargers this evening, no Austin Eckler. So that really does hurt their pass efficiency when it comes to Phillip Rivers and those dump-offs to the backs in space. Maybe Melvin Gordon tries to give it a go tonight, but I don't think he'll be very effective. So I think from a pass efficiency standpoint tonight, the Chargers may be in a little bit of a more difficult spot. Maybe that suggests to Ken Wisnup they should run the football a little bit more. And as we know, Kansas City 31st in yards per carry allowed this season defensively. So if the Chargers want to run the football, clock's going to run, clock's going to move. Should be very helpful for us there. Uh, Chiefs pass defense does get a little bit of a boost tonight with Eric Berry on a pitch count, but also tonight, weather considerations. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, 20 mile per hour gusts. Sure, you'd like to think that Pat Mahomes has the arm strength to cut through that wind, but wind is the biggest factor when it comes to football totals. It is not rain, it is not snow, 
it is wind. And with some windier conditions here tonight at Arrowhead Stadium, we'll take the under 54 and a half. Maybe you can find a stray 55 by the time this game kicks off. Uh, but I do like the under tonight in the Chargers versus Chiefs game. Move over to the college basketball side. And, you know, once again, and this was something that hamstrung me a little bit on Tuesday. Maybe not the best of weeks to unveil this video series. Uh, but very light college basketball cards this week, as we talked about. A lot of schools going through finals week. Things pick up on Saturday, as I mentioned on yesterday's video. But again, a very limited number of college basketball games here tonight. Although one did catch my eye. That's Dartmouth at home tonight against Boston University. This number opened in the Pickham range. Now Dartmouth minus one and a half. Dartmouth is shooting the lights out from distance this year. Over 42%. Big advantage for them tonight over Boston University, who does not hit a lot of threes. Also doesn't shoot a whole lot of threes. But when you talk about it from an effective field goal percentage standpoint, the more threes you make, the better off you're going to be. So Dartmouth definitely does have an edge in that department here tonight. Also, you talk about a game with a low line. Right now, like I said, Dartmouth minus one and a half. You want to take care of the basketball. You want to maximize your possessions. Dartmouth doing a much better job taking care of the basketball this season than Boston University. Dartmouth's turnover percentage, 15.9% on the year. BU at 19.7%. Possession's very important in these low-scoring games. And also, too, Dartmouth with a good edge from the free throw line. They're about 8% better at the free throw line this season. So in a close game at home where Dartmouth should shoot the basketball pretty well, they also have a free throw percentage advantage. So I'll take the Dartmouth Big Green tonight over the Boston University Terriers. Uh, that's Dartmouth minus 1.5 in that one. Then finally, we'll finish up this Thursday three-pack on the ice with a look at Montreal, the Canadiens hosting the Carolina Hurricanes tonight. Very bad spot for Carolina. It's a standalone road game, a long way from home, and Carolina hosts Washington tomorrow night. Now those two teams, uh, division rivals there in the Metropolitan Division, Montreal in the Atlantic Division. So non-division game here for Carolina, up on the road in Quebec. Uh, I just don't think it's a very good spot for the Carolina Hurricanes tonight. Curtis McElhaney not getting the start because he's under the weather. Peter Morazic going to be in net for Carolina. Good goals against average, but a lackluster save percentage for Morazic here on the season. Uh, it's a guy who's minus 3.3 goals saved above average this year, going up against Carey Price. So Montreal in a better spot and with the better goaltender here tonight. These two teams played in Montreal uh, just a few weeks ago. Canadians' big shot advantage, 49-22, to but lost the game 2-1. to Have to think maybe a little bit of revenge on their minds here in this game tonight. But ultimately... I'm getting the better goaltender at a very reasonable price and also looking to fade a team in a very bad situational spot. So the Montreal Canadiens making it onto my card here tonight. One of the top plus minuses in terms of goals at 5-on-5. Five five. Carolina actually well down the board. They're 26th in goal differential at 5-on-5. Five five. And, excuse me, you know, Claude Julien, the head coach of the Montreal Canadiens, very, very good from an advanced metrics standpoint with Boston. He's doing the same here with Montreal as well. So the Canadians, a solid team all around. They got blown out in their last game 7-1. to one. I think they're looking to bounce back. And again, like I said, better goaltender, better spot for the home team here tonight. So we'll take the Montreal Canadiens to wrap up the Thursday three-pack. The three plays for tonight. Chargers, Chiefs, under 54.5. Dartmouth, minus 1.5. And, and then the Canadians, minus 120. Be coming to you on Friday with our Friday Parte Parlay video where I'll be looking at some Moneyline Parlay options, maybe a teaser in the NFL, something like that. And we'll also revisit what we're looking at for this weekend in the sports betting world. I'm Adam Burke for BangTheBook.com.